I'm a person that likes to appear or think that I have really inspirational things to say once in a while. And sometimes it just doesn't come through. <laughs> so I thought of something, and I really don't even remember what um, sparked this, but I thought of a phrase, and I want to say, I'm going to say it here in a second, and it's going to sound really good, but then when I got to thinking about it really mo a lot more, it doesn't really make that much sense. So the phrase is, don't get caught up don't get so caught up in doing something that you forget how to be something. Okay? And the kind of the, the explanation that I initially thought up was, you know, as a parent or as a as a, a spouse, don't get co so caught up in doing things for people that you forget just how to be what you are. And that sounds super vague. And it is. So I'll give more examples. Let's say uh, your spouse really appreciates it when the kitchen is clean. Okay, when things are put away, when there's no dishes in the sink, when uh, you know trash is taken out, all those things. So you make it your life's goal or your week's goal to never let there be a spot in the kitchen. Every time you use a dish, you instantly wash it and put it back in the cabinet. Every time you buy a new food item, you find its spot in the pantry and you put it there, the door is shut completely and it's safe and it's good to go. Okay? But in doing all those things, in, in completing all those actions that your spouse appreciates, have you forgotten what it means to actually be a spouse? Have you forgotten what it actually means to be that husband or that wife to, to the person you, you pledged your life to? Because there's a lot more to being married than just cleaning up the kitchen. Another example, okay? We had a magician come to our school yesterday and put on a show for the kids and, and he he gave us his story his story essentially what it boils down to was he was bullied for having a learning disability people picked on him they gave him a hard time and it wasn't until he met his third grade teacher that she just turned it all around for him and she did one of those those movie moves you know where they could make a movie on it uh one day he came in and showed her a magic trick a card trick and it was before school and she watched him do the trick and then took him by the arm and started walking him down the hallway towards what he thought was the principal's office. And as it turned out, that wasn't the case. She took him to the library and showed him books, showed him books on how to do tricks and magic and things like that. You know, and it inspired him to be a world famous magi magician. And his dream came true. He wanted to be successful and he was. So that um, is what reminds the teachers sitting in the audience of what they're actually there for. We get so caught up in doing all the paperwork and giving all the tests and grading all the papers that we forget how to actually be teachers. It's beyond just grading and scoring and monitoring and assisting. Our job as teachers is to show children how to be what they want to be. And yes, they need to know math and reading and science and those things in order to be successful human beings, to be functioning members of society. But we need to stop pushing that it's the most important thing. That if they don't learn how to multiply 36 times 29, their life is over. And we forget that sometimes. We get so caught up in doing all the stuff that we forget how to be what we are. And if you think on this a little bit harder, then, you know, it, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense, this, this statement that I've made. But it is just that. It is a statement. Don't get so caught up in doing something that you forget how to be something. I will cap this by saying I am going out of town tomorrow morning. 
I may record a video in the morning, but I probably won't do an afternoon one. There will be no videos for Friday. Um, so I will be back with you all on Monday, uh, which is going to be the 20th of November. And that's where we will kick off again, if I don't do one tomorrow. If, if I do, then all of this means nothing. Okay? Okay. Bye-bye.